So this video was originally supposed to be about the Razer Tartarus Chroma, the one that's 79, I believe, 99. Um, but uh, which is what I ordered, but this is what arrived instead: the Orb Weaver, the much more expensive one. So, sorry to those out there that are looking for the Tartarus review and unboxing. Not happening. I got the better one on accident. It's a total shipping error. I'll go ahead and take it. Uh, definitely not complaining for a free upgrade. So, with that being said, let's get into the video. What's up, guys? It's Danny I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be opening up and setting up the Razer Orb Weaver, Orb Weaver Chroma. Now, you might be wondering what exactly this is. This is basically a keypad that's meant for gaming, basically. It, it, it takes uh, it takes PC gaming to the next level uh, in most cases. Instead of using the traditional keyboard, you can use this keypad instead, as well as your mouse. So you've got 20 programmable keys right here on the keypad, plus an additional 10. And what I mean by that is, this joystick looking thing is actually eight keys built in. You got the ninth key here, and then the 10th key there, and you can set any of these keys to whatever you want. So if I'm playing Call of Duty, uh, obviously WDS, WASD would be like right in there somewhere. Well, like probably these four buttons if I wanted it to be, or I can put it down here or whatever. It's completely customizable. It's very, very cool. I think it's better that I uh, set it up after we unbox it and, I, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by, the, by, you know, playing games this way. So, fully chroma, which is great. Works with the Synapse software from Razer, which is great as well. Um, this is all adjustable. So if you have smaller hands, bigger hands, this moves up and down. You can change the, the uh, cushion here. So without further ado, let's just get into opening the actual device and there it is right there in the display so i do believe i've got yeah right here some tape to pull just like it's supposed to be easy but there we go now i'm just gonna set that off to the side for a moment and we are going to get right into the box very excited i i can't believe that they sent me the the expensive one on accident uh but you know what blessing in disguise nothing wrong with that at all so pulling it out of the box I do believe the cable is braided and I don't see anything else in the box so set the box off to the side and then lifting plastic right off very nice so this is rubberized this is rubberized uh, we got plastic here very clicky sounding so let me go ahead and pull out the device. And yes, the cable is braided, which I love. Most uh, Razer products these days have braided cables, so that's good. So let me pull this out and thread this through. There we go. Set that off to the side. Well. Here we are. Sorry about that noise in the background. But anyway, here we are. So, very clicky. As you can hear, there's eight buttons in that joystick. And nine, ten. And then, of course, mechanical. Very cool. It's just a really nice device all around. So, I do believe if you press this button right here, is it a press? That's a pull. All right, so you pull think do you pull do you twist I think you twist you do something <laughs> anyway this is supposed to move I'm twisting but it doesn't like do oh it is doing stuff okay so I guess you pull the pin out and now I can okay look at that see I can adjust this to my hand and I'm playing with the left hand obviously so hmm yeah, I definitely like it up higher, I think. Yeah. Gives me better access to the keys. So, and because my hands are smaller. Well, I don't know. I can, if I have it like that, if I have it going forward, I can reach these better. So, I don't know. I'll try it out. Right now, I'll just go ahead and put that pin back in. 
set it to that, put the pin back in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up, get the RGBs going. That's the, you know, one of the most important parts for any Razer product, really. Now, as far as this moving in and out, there's a way to do it. I just haven't figured it out. Oh, there's a, is that a button? Yep, sure is. Oh, nice. All right. So that's cool. So that made that go out. So now, see my hand's too small for that, so I gotta push it back in. Yeah, that's comfortable. It's very comfortable, so. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up, and uh, yeah, we'll just jump right to it. All right, so I've got the Orb Weaver all set up. Uh, with the you know RGB wave going through like everything else on my desk, um, and I must say I I've been playing a little bit of Black Ops 4 with it, and very very comfortable to use. And this is coming from a guy who loves using controller to play uh, FPS games. So yeah, it's very nice. Got a nice sound to it. Very responsive. Very comfortable. You know, and I I'm a person that suffers from carpal tunnel, so. It doesn't seem to be triggering that at all. So I feel like I can just go up, down, you know, left, right, all that stuff. I uh, use this to, I believe this is reload, and, or maybe that's reload, I forget. I'm not, I don't have the game open right now. But, so you know, it is very nice, very comfortable. So, um, like I said before, you can customize all these buttons. There's 20 here on the pad itself, and then we've got 10 right over here. 8 being in the joystick 9 and 10 so 30 buttons total technically and this adjusts to however big or small your hand is so it's very nice I will leave this in the description below if you want to pick up one of these yourself um, and uh, I'll also link the uh, the Tartarus the one I was originally supposed to get I'll link that below too it's a little, little bit of a cheaper option so uh, I will say there is one thing I do want to point out the Orb Weaver does not work with Synapse software version 3. So Razer Synapse version 3 and the beta does not work with this. It uses the legacy software, which I think is Synapse 2 or something like that. However, the Tartarus, the cheaper option, uses Synapse 3. So not a huge deal. I've got both solvers and stalls that have legacy products and new Razer products as well. And so if I want, you know, the whole RGB rainbow effect on everything, I have to run two softwares at once. Luckily, both softwares are very, very minimal, very small. They'll, they don't take up hardly any CPU power at all, so not a big deal. But I thought I would just go ahead and let you guys know right now that this is a legacy product. Even though it's new, it's still legacy. The um, Tartarus is, is the newer, cheaper version, but it's also membrane, whereas this is mechanical. So anyway, thanks for watching this quick video unboxing, quick review. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.